Hi, welcome to Video Creators. My name is Wayne Metter and I'm filling in for Tim today. Um, I am a video creator myself. I have a YouTube channel and I uh, share with you know people how to become a little bit more self-sufficient. I do gardening and do-it-yourself projects and that kind of thing. As a result of creating videos, one of the questions that I get from my subscribers frequently is, well, how do you do the little video clips and the little uh, images and graphics and icons, um, typically on the video outro, um, but even the subscribe buttons and the Google Plus buttons and things like that. So the first thing you want to think about is your timeline. And typically what I like to do is I take all of my video clips um, initially and I create my full um, uh, timeline from start to finish. And then I start to add all of the embellishments on it. In this case, what you do is you come over here to the clip bin, you add images and videos and icons and graphics into that clip bin, you manipulate them in the uh, viewing window right above the clip bin. I'm not sure what, what it's called, but you can manipulate the length of them and, and play with them a bit. And then you move them down into your timeline and place it on the timeline where you want it to go. And you can see here that I just continue to do the same thing and stack up each item on the timeline based on where, uh, where it's at. So at the end of the video, the outro, you can see that I've taken the how to plant vertical strawberry planter video and picked out the piece of the video knowing that I had a 40 second time slot at the end that I wanted to fill, um, picked out the piece of that video that I would like to use, slid it over and dropped it on the timeline. I took the icon from the Vertical Grow Tower 1.3 um, uh, uh, video thumbnail that I use when I upload it to uh, to YouTube and I drug it over and placed it at the same place at the end of the video on the timeline and then I shot a video just like what I'm doing now when I'm talking to the camera I shot a video for the end um, the end of the video when I like to talk to my subscribers and tell them what I think and why I'm I'm picking the two thumbnails for them to choose from and what's going on in my life sometimes it's personal information so I shot that video and I brought in the do not forget to rate this video icon and once you have that they're all stacked up at the end of the video and then you can continue to play with it and go it more in depth into the transitions and how they show up and how they disappear and all of that but initially get yourself used to looking at the timeline um, in the bottom right corner or along the bottom typically on all video editing software and think about um, how you want your graphics to appear up and drop them in the right place. If you're a new subscriber and you like the tip that you learned in the video today, uh, click the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to Video Creators YouTube channel. We know that you have a mission and a message and all we're looking to do is to help you get that mission and your message out to a greater number of people so that we can all work together to make a difference. So more next time. Thank you all for watching and God bless.